Shalom and welcome to Bini. This is your Sai Sai Shikadora, Bini Bini friends, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, for today's video, mga kabini bini, well, this is very different. This is very different because we're going to talk someone's story. Okay, we're going to talk about something very inspirational, something that we can relate, something that normal, something that we encounter sometimes in our lives. And this video or topic that I'm going to talk about is the kind of topic that is very close to my heart, something that very relevant to my part. It is because this is my own story. Yes, mga kabilibini, I'm going to talk about my own story. I'm going to share my story. This is the story about um, obesity. This is a story about how I gained 50 kilos. Yes, you've heard it. I gained 50 kilos. And I became obese. It was difficult. I should say, very difficult. It is because it was not me. It is because that was not my intention to do to my body. It was not intention to, to be fat. It, it might be harsh it might be harsh to say, it might be not good to hear it, that your fat, you gained weight, matabaka, tambuka. But that's the reality. That's how it is. Yes, it's true. So, mga kapitbini, before we will continue, the video i would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers who subscribe to my channel and for those who subscribe to my channel please uh if it's if it's possible you know try to share my video this is not about to be viral no it's not like that but it is a matter of i want you to share my video it is because i want to help people. I want to help people who are suffering in this kind of dilemma, to help people to set their mind, to, to have goal. I mean, to, to help people that don't worry. Okay? I can't relate because I am you. And if you are, you know, in the stage of getting there, of becoming obese, or you are now obese, or you are now fat, or probably you are already fat, but don't worry. There are ways for us how to fight against obesity. There are ways for us you know, to control our mind and our body that, no, this is, this is not true. I mean, though it's happening now, but I know that someday you can take a part of that reality that you can change. You will change. By hearing my own story, I know that probably you might be given a information or informations that okay that's the reason why she gained weight that's the reason why I gained weight it is because of these reasons we might not have the same environment we might not, we might not have the same job we may not have the same lifestyle. We may not have the same food that we that we have eaten. It, it's everything you know. Everything is different. 
But but what is that the same thing that I should say we have in common? That is because we are human. So mga kapinibini, this is my story. Yes, mga kapinibini, um, I would tell you about my childhood days. Anyway, when I was a child, I was very thin. I was like, um, it's not booty, but here they're calling me what is Ting Ting because I was very thin. It's I was like a broomstick. I was really thin. And even when I was in high school, in college days, in my 20s, and even in my 30s, I was very thin. Not exactly very, very thin, but because I am 5'7 inches tall, and so my average weight must be 70 kilos. And that from that 70 kilos, I, you know, I, I always stay in that, on that level only. I mean, never I gained weight, just I lost weight. So, 70 kilos is an average weight for me as a 5'7 feet tall, okay. But, when was the time that I gained weight? Well, that's a very good question. I should say that I gained weight when I was like around 34 years old. And for those who doesn't know, I am now 42 years old. To give you an idea how do I look like before, let's watch some of my photos. When I was in the Philippines, I was teaching, you know, in an international language school. And um, I should say I was, I was in my average weight, which is 70 kilos, and it was fine for me. I feel good. I should say that I don't have fats. I was thin. I was, it's not really skinny, but it's just perfect fit, I should say. But when the time I went to Brazil, I just gained weight around 5 kilos. And 5 kilos is nothing. Uh, parang, parang kumain ka lang marami, you just have eaten too much. Or because of the new environment, because of the new food, because of the new lifestyle, it's because of new, because of everything is new. Because everything is new, so, I mean, your body changed. Your life, your life starts changed. So it was okay. I mean, it was not a big deal. Five kilos. When I arrived in France in 2011, my weight is same as when I was in Brazil. I should say that I even lost some weight. I returned to my average weight that was 70 kilos. It was not, uh, I should say it was not easy. It was not easy because of the food, environment, lifestyle, everything's different. So when I was in Brazil, I've worked very hard. Because I have a job. When I arrived here in France, I don't have anything. I was just like a newborn baby that I have to start a new life. That I have to, to know the world. To know what's life. You know, to, what, to know what's life in France. So from that time, 
I was stressed because I don't have anything, because I don't know the language, because I don't have a job. I was stressed because I don't know what to do. I have no friends. I don't know where to go to. As I really don't have any plans yet. But as time goes by, that boring life, I should say, changed. And what happened was, I went to school, I studied French. If I'm not mistaken, I studied French for like two years. I studied French for two years, so I've been not working. Never I work, except I did some tutorial lessons for English to some of my classmates, to some uh, children, to, to anybody, just for me to earn money. I should say I was depressed also because of the language. And here in France, for you to get a job, you have to learn the language first. You don't have to do anything at first, anything, except you have to study French. I was stressed, I was depressed because I have to learn another language. I went to Brazil, I spoke Portuguese. Even if I know how to speak English, even if that was my job in the Philippines, yet when I arrived here in France, it's nothing. I have to start and I have to prove myself. It's, it's really difficult. I mean, you have to, to start from the beginning. But after all those sacrifices, after all those dilemma that I have encountered for the first two years, I finally got a job. I had a work. I got the work from a bar and I was a waitress there. And my job starts from 3 p.m. until 2 a.m. Imagine you. Know. And then from the 2 a.m., I still have to wake up around 6.30 for my class by 8.30 in the morning until 3 p.m. So, paano nangyari yun? It just so happened that yung school namin, na kung saan ako nag-aaral ng French, again, is just malapit lang. Yung bar na tinatabuhan ko is just nasa likod lang ng school. But, because of that, I gained weight. I gained weight because of the lifestyle. And then I have to do the tutorial because that's the only way that I could, you know, earn more. And of course, uh, it's, it, it was me, you know, that, that's what I really want to do. But because of I want to change my life here in France, and so I, I planned to have a, another career. I went to a school again. I went to school again, and I studied uh, caregiving, caregiver. And so by that, I studied just for three months. But while I was you know, studying for caregiving, or let's say for caregiver, I should say, I also work part-time every after of my class. I finished studying until 5 p.m. And so the part-time job starts at 6 p.m. And that part-time job was for cleaning. It was fine. Though, I should say I was very tired because of the schedule. And so I became stressed again. The reason why I gained weight, it is not because of the food. 
it was because of the lifestyle it was because of of the new environment the new me because it was not me i mean my job in the philippines was just you know working hours i had fun i love what i'm doing i love the fact that you know i am engaging with people i love everything i love everything that is you know happening to me but here in france it's different it's not me even now it's not me you know but i have no choice and so i'm stressed but if you will ask me if i am stressed now there are times i do because it's not me i miss being me and so while i'm doing the job at that time i am very emotional to be honest because it's not me but i have no choice because it is my life now i have to work for myself for my husband and for my family in the philippines why i can't wait it's because of everything that is happening to me that was really different imagine i work even bef even after ng, ng caregiving na course i continue working sa cleaning part and i've started my job from five in the morning depend every day schedule is different though there, there there is this office that i do every day straight for one week five in the morning until 6 30 in the morning and i have to wake up four in the morning sometimes i have to wake up 3 30 in the morning so sometimes after 6 30 i go home or sometimes i have to go to another office after that, I go home, I eat, I sleep. And then I have to wake up again, depends on my schedule on that day. Sometimes I have to wake up 2 in the afternoon or 5 in the afternoon. So sometimes I got home 10 p.m. And I have to wake up again around 3.30 or 4. So, how many hours do I have to, to, you know, to relax? So, when I arrive at home, by 10 p.m., I have to take some shower. And sometimes, or most of the time, I eat. I eat because my mind says... I'm hungry, but my body doesn't want to eat. It's different in my part. Because normally I should, we, we, most people would say, oh, because my body wants to eat, but my mind says no, but no. My mind says I want to eat, but my body says no. And when I eat, I go to bed after. And so that's why I gained weight. I gained too much weight. And I, I never realized that I am gaining weight. I never realized that I'm fat. But I can feel that I'm gaining weight. I can feel that I am fat. 
Imagine I don't realize it, but I can only feel it. I can see it, but I don't realize it. How would I explain that? Oh, it was really hard. Until then, I gained weight and reached 120 kilos. If you will ask me, do you eat sweets? No, I don't eat sweets. I don't like cakes. I don't like I don't like chocolates. I don't eat them. Those, I, you know, normally I eat them if ever there will be some party, there will be some invitations from my friends. But me personally, if I love eating them, no, I don't like them. I don't eat them. I was just depressed depressed I, I was in depression you know depression of having a work of having a job I, I was depressed of you know the language I need to speak French I have I, I, I was being forced so I was depressed and you know if if you are depressed of course you you were stressed and to some people when you are stressed you gained weight or you lose weight but in my case, I gained weight. I should say, it's not fair. It's unfair. But what can I do? That's the reaction of my body. Do you eat a lot? No, I don't eat a lot. But I eat. After I eat, I go to bed. And that's wrong. So, that's the reason why it's really a no-no for us when you know that you go to bed, you know, don't eat. But if you're really hungry, eat a little. But at that time, I was hungry. My schedule was really, you know, different. It was very hard. But I have to do that for me to, to earn money, for me to, to live, for me to, to help for my family in the Philippines. I have, I, I have to sacrifice. I don't have much time to relax. So that's why I gained weight. So that's why you need to take some pause. You know? Try to set your mind. It was really hard. And, you know, telling you the story right now, it makes me sad. It makes me realize you know from the time I gained weight oh, I'm now in my nine years in France and being nine years in France was not easy I mean it's not really easy and that that was the reason you know I gained weight it's not about the food you know, how will you fight from that depression? How will you fight that stress? How will you fight that, you know, change of lifestyle? How will you fight not to eat much? Or how will you fight not to become obese? Well, it's up to you. Well, I'm sharing you my story. It's because I want you to learn from my mistakes. Or I should say... If you don't know how to handle depression, you know, you must have to have friends who can, you know, you can tell, you know, you can talk to. You need someone, you need some ears, you know, to listen to you. You need to have the right people to be with you. Here I was alone. And I cannot talk my, my my problems, I'm gonna talk with 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 all you know what I feel inside inside me. Because each of us here we have our own problems too, you know. But you need to to find somebody who is a right person for you to talk to. 
So, mga kabidibini, it's really hard. You know, it's really hard to, to fight against obesity. But, don't worry. I have another video. The video I'm going to share to you is a video that talks about how I lost 27 kilos and counting. Well, just for today's video, this is all about how I came to it. But I want you to learn from, from my story. Fight that stress. Fight that depression. Fight that, that, you know, from that hunger. Fight from, from obesity, you know. Change your lifestyle. Try to change you. You need to change. There's nothing else that you can do to fight against it, but you need to change. And so that's the reason why. At that time, I, I gained weight because I don't know what, you know, I don't know what to do. And from that time that I knew the solution, I've lost weight. But that's on the next video, mga kabinibini. So I do hope, mga kabinibini, you've learned something from me. I do hope that you will realize that we can fight obesity. So don't worry, mga kabinibini. Soon, I'm going to share to you, it's not the secret, but I will tell you the reason I've lost 27 kilos and still counting. So, mga kabinibini, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you will be okay. So once again, this is your Sari Sari Chikadora, Bidi Bidi Friends, signing off. Ciao!